3D here to talk to you about a print that I made about four to five months ago. It's this magnificent bow tie right here. And it did a pretty great job. I printed it on my XYZ DaVinci 1.0. I had to put a lot of supports on the inside in order for it to print that nice and smooth. But I just thought I want a little bit better. You know, I think I can do better. And I can. I have this awesome resin printer right here from Elgin Mars. And I just got done printing these two new bow ties. Now, we have the original one right there. We have this new style as well. Yeah, they turned out pretty great. Just need to clean them and then take off all those supports. So, fairly excited about how this turned out. Now, let's get them all cleaned up. All oh, right, let's get these prints all cleaned up. I've got my gloves on. Safety first. I've got my mean green super strength cleaner ready. That's what I personally use to clean up the prints. I think it does a pretty great job of getting off the leftover resin. So, let's get this off of here. Okay, got my little spatula. Got my mean green cleaning solution. Let's just kind of pry this off. Oh, there we go. And there we go. And they're in. Okay, so got the prints all cleaned up. Looks really, really nice. Fairly impressed with it. I'm happy with it. I like it a lot. Turned out awesome. So now it's time to trim these bad boys, get all the supports off, and let's do that. Heavy, a little bit heavy. But yeah, so I'm gonna go put those bad boys in the cure. Gonna get them outside a little bit. Try to give them in some of this Vancouver weather. It's not too sunny here, but you know what? We can cure it, I believe in it. So, I'll show you guys when it's all cured. Okay, so I got the prints all cured up. I'm gonna bring them outside. Get them all painted up. Got a couple little colors for you. Going to do the uh, one in red oh, with a fun little pattern on the more of a spiral one. We're going to do in this black color. So, let's see how they turn out.
the prints all painted up and ready to show you. If you're following me on Instagram at Elevated Prints 3D, you would have already saw them and seen how awesome they turned out. But if you're not, you can go give me a follow and you can check it out right here. So this first one we have right here is the uh, spiral one. Now it's a little dark, you might not be able to see the color, but it's got a really fun sparkle in it when you're outside. Really pops out. Definitely is a nice print. It's a little heavy, as I said earlier in the video, but that's okay. Should have hollowed it out, would have made it so it sat a little bit better, but you'll see sooner. Um, next one we have right here is the little red guy. Now this one turned out awesome. I love it so much. Uh, I really do like it a lot, but let's if you compare it to the old one, it's actually too small. So uh, you can see that and tell that it's a little bit too small. Um, the port right here doesn't actually fit, so you can try, try, try. Doesn't work. This one does work. The uh, FDM one. Now what happened was when I resized it down, I guess I it brought it in at like two to three millimeters big, and so I had to resize it and make it so fit. But yeah, so this one works just fine. This one does not, and this one does as well. So, but the only downfall to this one is, as I said, it's a little heavy. So when it sits, it wants to droop down a little bit. Um, a slight design flaw, I kind of personally think, um, if they would have been able to angle this part on the inside a little bit, it would have popped it out. But again, I also could have designed it with uh, a lower infill and made it a more hollow one. So, kind of sixes. Both ways could have made it better. Um, the practicality of this print is definitely awesome. I personally think if you have a party that you want to go to and you want to print your bow tie in the morning and then you will have it all ready for you in the afternoon if you don't have to paint it. If you have an FDM printer, you can just print it right on your FDM printer. Uh, I've done both. FDM printer use supports. Definitely recommend to use supports. It's got a really nice angle. Um, but if you don't have an FDM printer, use your SLA printer and it will do a fantastic job. Again, use supports, but just on the outside. Um, I wanted to say thank you for checking out my video. Please subscribe and share. It helps me build up in the YouTube ranking since I'm newer at this whole YouTube stuff for 3D printing. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much. Remember to have an elevated lifestyle and keep it groovy. Thank you.